Hello, in this video I'll show you how to use reverse, reverse in C sharp. Uh, so you put reverse on a list and it does what it says it does. It reverses the list, but there are some complexities in the whole arrangement. So let's take a look at the example. Now we have a variable LST, it's called, it's a list of integers, okay? Simple list of integers, nothing too fancy. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six elements, one, two, six. Okay, so it's easier to recognize. And this is reverse. Okay, you use the reverse method to reverse. Now, if I were to just quickly remove all that for a second and run it, you would see that it does indeed uh, reverse. It becomes uh, six to one. Okay, let's see the list, six, to one, okay? Very simple, right? Uh, that's not what we really want to look at. I'm going to return everything back to the original form, okay? It reverses a list like that. Now, you can see it's a void method, therefore, it does not create another instance of that list, okay? It does not create a copy of the list. It simply deals with the original. It deals with the original, so do be careful about that. If you need a copy, create a copy first, and only then use the reverse on the copy. Don't use it on the original if you need the original, because it will uh, modify it. It will, it will modify it without uh, any ability to actually re-reverse it, right? But let's see a, a, the mo more complex example here. So we have index and count, and this allows you to reverse certain numbers or certain elements in the list from that particular index to whatever index you want uh, or however elements you want from that index. So in this case, we have two, okay, two. So it will start reversing from three, but it will limit at two elements. So what it will do, it will reverse three and four in this case, okay? Three and four, so it starts from three, and ends with four because it uses two elements and it starts on the third element. On the third element and takes two elements including the uh, first one, right? The first one. Now we can actually run it just to uh, make sure we know what, what, uh, what it does exactly. We have uh, right here, we have four and three. We used to have three, four, as you can see here, three, four. But now we have four and three reversed, okay? And if you want to do that for the whole thing, okay, so from specific index to the end, all of the elements from that specific index, you do this. You do the count, the count of the list, and then you subtract, you subtract the index from which you want to reverse, from the count of the list and that will reverse all the elements in this case all the elements after three okay three including so it will be uh, six then five then four and then three it will reverse uh, this part of the list it won't touch this part of the list so this is how the reverse works i hope you enjoyed it do subscribe to this channel for more such videos for more uh, entertaining videos to come as well, some reviews to come, and of course for more technology and business tutorials.